Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Sam's Biology. In this video, we will discuss why this AIDS is called syndrome, not disease. We know that this AIDS is called syndrome, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So why it is called syndrome, not a disease? So first we have to understand what is syndrome. Syndrome is a Greek word which means to run together when many symptoms are present together due to any reason. So when many symptoms are present inside the body due to any reason, there are many symptoms, then this is called syndrome and these symptoms may vary person to person. Suppose two person have same syndrome, so there will be many symptoms, some symptoms may vary person to person. So this is syndrome. Now coming to AIDS, we know that AIDS is caused by human immunodeficiency virus. What it does when it infects? human body what it does it break down immunity due to the breakdown of immunity or you can say that when immunity is weak then many symptoms will appear inside the body of human like frequent infections from common infectious agents for example, cold, many bacteria, many viruses, so frequent or easily it, that person will cope infection very easily. Fever, illness, long term fatigue, night sweat and swollen lymph nodes. So here you can see that there are many symptoms. So all these symptoms, all these symptoms are collectively called AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. So due to this HIV, many symptoms will occur. Why the, these symptoms will occur? Because this HIV breakdowns immunity. So immunity of that person will be weak. So due to this weak immunity, that person will cope common infections very easily. He or she will have fever, illness, fatigue, night sweat, uh, night sweat, swollen lymph nodes. So syndrome is a collection of symptoms that are present together. So here you can see that in case of AIDS, there are many symptoms that are present together. That's why this AIDS is called syndrome, not a disease.